So here we have the witness, that is the 13th lock. This is where all the information through the evolutionary history gets stored in a sense, this movement through the 13 and the various keys to the 13, this witnessing. Here we have the witness. And so in 1961, we went into the 61.1, and this is the theme of occult knowledge. This is the time in which the planet is allowed to receive true inner truth, the inner truth at the foundational occult knowledge level. So we are in currently the 61.1 and 13.1 lock. So we have the empathic capacity to grasp the deepest inner truth right now. And this is where the door is closing to this truth. We have had quite an age, Ra says, the very patterns of society, that is this ability to hold society together by building civilizations. And obviously we are at the heart of the quarter of civilization. And so to see that this is a lock that has a key, the 16th gate, that is a part of the channel of talent. But more than that, it's the great gate of identification, enthusiasm, skills. So it's identifying the future. What are the possibilities logically of what the future can provide? And the union of these two logical aspects, how powerful that is, and how much have we benefited from it? So I want you to think about all of these um, fantastical delusions that humanity has been fed, spoon fed since, what was that date, 1960s? where think of the Jetsons if you were growing up and you know down a long time ago where we had people in flying cars you know people living underwater potentially you know people living in space delusion think about that is it going to be coming to the fore Ross said he would eat his words if people actually lived on Mars because it's never going to happen according to him now when you go to the other side and you go to the 10, what you're going to find this lock and key combination is that the nature is all about behavior. So we are programmed, we are literally programmed as to how each of us are designed to behave. And when we look at this behavior right now, we see all of this detail. So we have now the ninth gate. And that night gate brings an incredible focus, the taming power of the small. It brings this sensibility right now, first line. That focus that feeds the logical, factual, step-by-step -step process. So whether you have a nine in your design or whether you are open to it, this is the nature of our era. It's focusing on the small details. When I was a kid, my... Um, I wanted to say dad, but my, my, the guy who delivered me, okay, he was a general practitioner, general MD. And I can remember going to his, you know, office and we would see him for everything. I don't care what I had going on. It was always, you know, general practitioner. You go to see him for everything. That is not the case anymore. My general practitioner delivered me when I was growing up in Hawaii, you know, Nowadays, you've got all of these specificities, all of these skills, remember the skills that have been developed in detail. And it's just been expanding and expanding and expanding. Now you've got a specialist for all kinds of diseases under the sun. Now diseases have expanded too because the immune system of humanity has been dying out, so we've had to. And yet that very thing, our human species on the decline that has created all of these specialties of focus and specifics in skillful um, 
identification with disease. We, we celebrate ourselves like, wow, look at the progress. And yet it's the point of our very decline that has brought all of this up. So this is an incredible process and expansion of inner truth. And yet it's just preparing us for the shifting as we human beings are on the decline. So here's the example of our age. You can see this is the creative force that drives this particular cycle. 32, duration, the gate of continuity in the first line of conservation very conservative. So we're living in the most deeply material time. Where is this? This is in the stream of capitalism, isn't it? Fear of failure, material failure. And we're talking about money materialism right now. Have you seen it? How much materialism abounds? So in this time, we are rooted in the hierarchical drive for more right? Where it's going towards is the heart, the ego, more, 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 and also better. What is it leading to? We want to be better. We want to improve. We want to be the best. Here's the driving force of that, that duration, continuity, and yet everything we know changes. So these are the huge themes that mold and shape all of humanity right now. It's not the nuance of what you're taking in in your design while you're living day by day, okay? So it's not the nuance of what you take in in your design while you're living through the day, through the program, through the moment, through the people in your life. This is something more, this is something else, this is something vast and deep that keeps all of us in lockstep with the program. So you look at your human design, look down at it, you see, oh, I have openness to that. Guess what? That is part of what you are amplifying and potentially distorting, not just from the people around you, not just from the day-to-day -day transits or your life cycles. This, this is the controlling, homogenizing force. And none of us can escape it. All we can do is take advantage of it or not through our decision-making process. So, Right now, we're in the cycle of this world is a business. That's where all the creative energy is going. Make a million, make a billion. Make a million, feed a million. Make a billion, feed a billion. Make $100,000 a month. It's possible. Here it is. I've done it. You can too. Just buy my course, you know? on and on and on. We have people creating businesses out of their lives, feeling like you can't go after what you want to do because you've got to make a business in order to survive, in order to thrive. Anything that you do, if it's not um, moving the needle towards your achievement, your accomplishment, your grasping, yeah, grasping more of the material share of the pie. This is what is happening to us right here and now. If we look at this next aspect, the, the leader, if you could think about the way we are manipulated by the program and our evolutionary process, there is this generalized, homogenized leadership program for us. And in this case, now we have the logical leader that is detailed. So the preponderance of the small gate of details. First line is about routine. This is what is on the out. We're not going to have this detailed leadership anymore as we move forward. We're not going to have those forces trying to convince us that we should do this or that because of this or that. Think back to, you even use the term think. Can you remember I know when I was a kid learning how to make decisions in school, they told me to draw a line on the paper down the middle, put pros and cons at the top, and then list in detail all the positives on one side and all the negatives on the other side, and then weigh and measure. You know, what details are you going for because of this decision? That was the process of, you know, homogenized leadership. What is the plan you know, sevens in a penta, they're planners. 
I put things into leadership and how we're being programmed to do that is go into the detail. Well, I think because of this fact and because of where it's been before, potentially that this is the way that it's going to be done so we can make this decision. And this is on the out. What Ross says is that we're going to have an impatient, under pressure and totally different key. So there's no escaping it. Now, every human being that carries the 62, and the next one is the 53, every human being that carries the 53 and every human being that carries both activations within them, they are the ones that make this function in the world because they are in keeping with this. This is part of their process. This is their genetic potential. Regardless of their design, regardless of their personal illusion of their own authority or correctness, because remember, it's no choice. We are all instruments of the life force. We are instruments of the program, each of us. And he really wants us to grasp this and see this in ourselves, that we are part of this program, genetically speaking. We are the ones that drive this. So if we look over at the second gate, it's a very special gate. As we know, it's literally the gate of the magnetic monopole. You could call it the hand of God moving you, yeah? And what we're looking at now through this plan in this time, uh, this plan is the plan being fulfilled, the whole plan, yeah? The receptivity, the yin, plan on earth. So in this civilization, in this form. As we move through each epoch, there's going to be certain things that are instrumental to fulfilling the plan. So now we have increased the gate of growth. This is the first line of diversification. So the nature of the 42nd gate, you know that this is about bringing things to a close. Yeah, the end of a cycle of experience. It means many things, as you know. But the most spectacular thing that it means at this time, this plan, it's pretty much announcing the end of human creative fertility according to Ra. So it's saying, okay, folks, it's in the plan. We're coming to the end of stuff. And you can see that. I can't remember exactly what year it was that he said um, before this era, 1840 or 1820 or something, there are more people alive today than there were all the way up until that date because of the massive explosion of the number of human beings on this plane at this time. And the reason for that is so that we have incredible genetic diversity in order for the genes to mutate and create something new to come out of, uh, out of us. So out of us will come the birth of the raves, as you know, something completely, utterly different that is going to be genetically produced from us. And that is the end of the human being as far as its genetic productivity or reproductivity. It's something new that's coming out of us. So you're going to be able to see that as we continue on the decline. You already see the facts, you know, um, less and less children being born. And so if this culture doesn't have more babies, they're going to die out by this age, whatever the case may be. It's all over if you've uh, heard about it or seen it in the news, the decline of the birth of human beings. Oh, one last thing I can think of. When it comes to wanting your children to be well set up financially for the future, Ra's recommendation was to invest in fertility. And having been a user of the in vitro fertilization technology, having had it work myself, I can personally attest to the fact that even just seeing it in my practice, women coming to me wanting to get pregnant, can't get pregnant. And that is one of the things that are going to make a huge amount of money in the future. So if you have disposable income, he would suggest researching into uh, that because that is the thing that's going to be highly prized as we move forward. People wanting to have children that can't. My husband wasn't able to, and we could because of in vitro fertilization. Because of, you know, this is the plan. We're, we're dying out. So here, when we look at the 25, this is the lock that is about spirit. So how do you 
you could say feel along the way, sort of. It's a spirit along the way, your innocence of spirit. And so through that spirit, we can look at what we've had as far as in the way of the family, the gate of friendship, first line, the mother, father. So all of that spirit being given to our little, little ones, yeah? How desperate we've become in the last 400 years to educate them as well as we can, to support them, to build schools for them, the universities, the colleges, just racing all around so that all the answers could be found before the door was closed on our fertility. And so the bond of family was necessary, the bargain of working for the family, the affection in the family, the innovations of the family that would become innovations in the tribe and society and culture in the last 400 years, our building of our institutional realities that educated our, our little ones. And you can already see how many people are pulling their kids out of those crumbling institutions. Hi, got my hands raised here. Me, 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 for sure. I don't want my child in there any longer. So it's just the beginning of that. Here we can see the temple. We know that this is the body, which is the house for that spirit on the other side. Yeah, the spirit encased in flesh. So now we have the temple, gate 46, the body, which is the importance of this life here and now. Yeah, the serendipity, good fortune, good luck to be embodied. However you want to translate that, this is where the value of life is established when it comes to our experience in this life. And here we have deliverance, the gate of aloneness, the first line of recuperation. So Ross says about this is that one of the things to grasp about this body is that we have been living in a time in which the body has been dedicated to work. The 48th gate is all about the love of work, delivering on one's promise to the family, to the tribe. Okay, dedicated. Our bodies have been dedicated to providing. There's another one, providing. And if you don't give me the affection, I will no longer provide for you, right? The affection was the 37 on the other side. So human beings have been organized into communal structures during this time and that creates the potential of many many different kinds of occupations right all kinds of work so that we can go out and then bring home the bacon and feed our families i'll bring it home you cook it honey you know whatever the bargain is so many different kinds of ways that we have been able to provide for the basic materials that are necessity are a necessity for life feeding our children feed their stomachs. That is an absolute prerequisite for building a, a strong and healthy family where everyone has what they need. First and foremost, we need to make sure that they do not go hungry. Then we educate them. We provide safety and tribal values and rules and laws and so forth and so on. That is the thing that we have been in that is crumbling. <clears throat> 